We have breaking news. Prime Minister Dr. Terence Drew and Attorney General Garth Wilkin may be named as conspirators and or defendants in the amended RICO case for fraud. The RICO case investigations have revealed that Prime Minister Dr. Drew did in fact signed off on a substantial number of illegal applications for the jail project. In other words, Dr. Drew actively and willingly participated in a scheme to defraud St. Kitts and Nevis of its CBI revenue. Attorney General Garth Wilkin failed to act on the information provided to him concerning the fake due diligence company owned by Caribbean Galaxy, thus facilitating the continuation of the fraud. This will have serious implications on the new amended RICO case that will be filed on November 21, 2024, by MSR Media. Furthermore, the Drew administration committed perjury when it submitted to the court that this government has no knowledge of the price the illegal citizenships were sold for. Applications Dr. Drew signed in his capacity as Prime Minister. Lies. Here is a quote we find quite applicable. Continuity of government does not mean continuity of fraud. Felipe Martinez. My integrity on this matter is critically important. I have to protect the country and my integrity. Can you imagine if I was naming this? Just imagine if I was naming this. I think part of the saving grace of all of this is that I am not named. No evidence on me. No questions about me. I take this very seriously because I already see how this is hurting St. Kitts and Nevis. I already see the questions being asked. Of people asking what kind of country is that? I want to tell them that this is a country of integrity. They are bad actors, yes. But this is a country of integrity and good standing. Just imagine if I was naming this. You are listening to KN Whoop the number one political YouTube channel in the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. But here is the kicker. We are now receiving critical information that the housing project for 2,400 homes for citizens of St. Kitts and Nevis, it has been uncovered that members of the Drew administration may have set up offshore accounts to receive kickbacks and bribes into said accounts from the project. Investigations are ongoing. Do you know why Kamala Harris and the Radical Democrats lost the US elections? But we must accept the results of this election. Earlier today, I spoke with President-elect Trump and congratulated him on his victory. I also told him that we will help him and his team with their transition and that we will engage in a peaceful transfer of power. Here is why. Polls conducted months ago showed clearly that Trump was destined to win the elections, but the Democrats propagated lies and made their supporters, their country and the world, believe that Kamala Harris had the 2024 elections in the bag. And yet the Democrats suffered a brutal beating on November 5th by the Republicans. And this woman took her meltdown to a whole new level, violently screaming in her car. I'm sorry! No! 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 Why? 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 Do you really hate me that bad? In the end, the truth always prevail. It will be the same for the Drew administration. Prime Minister Dr. Drew will come on the air and refute our claims, as he must. But the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis has already made up its mind to get rid of Drew administration since their first year in office. 
Just like the Democrats, the Drew administration displays and spreads fake confidence to its supporters and to the general public. This administration has overpromised and underdelivered. KN Whoop has said times without number that no amount of food, rum, music or distractions will save the Drew administration from a massive defeat at the polls. Citizens of St. Kitts and Nevis do not be fooled. Dr. Drew and his band of bandits already know that they will lose their seats in the upcoming local elections, and that is why they are teething everything but the kitchen sink. Are living their best life ever until the axe comes down on their crooked necks. <laughs> I am Alvarine Cable. I am Carissa Cable. Thank you for joining us on KN Week. <laughs>